Hey guys, Richard here with eBike Reviews and Adventures, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Emojo Bison Pro. Now, the Bison Pro is a trike that we selected and purchased with our own money, so Emojo does not sponsor my channel and they do not sponsor this video. We were looking for a new trike for my wife so that it gives her the ability to get out of the house more and to get out and enjoy the trails when I'm out riding. And so we searched for weeks looking for a trike that we felt would be perfect for her. So we compared trikes from many different manufacturers and looked at the specs and the size and the power of the motor and, and a number of things. And we finally decided that the Emojo Bison Pro was best suited for our family. So let's just go ahead and jump in and take a closer look and I'll show you what it's all about. So the Bison Pro is an attractive looking trike. It has a lot of great features that we found that uh, we really was looking for when we were out shopping. And I tell you what, um, We've been real satisfied with our purchase so far, with a couple of small exceptions. Let's go ahead and start up here in the front. First of all, let's take a look at these tires. Now these aren't street tires, but they're not off-road tires either. There's a nice combination of both, if you take a look at that tread right there. Now on the front here, we do have a 24-inch tires, 24 by 4, and on the rear, we have 20 by 4 tires. Of course, the, the hub motor is up here in the very front, along with the spring suspension forks. And the motor is a 750 watt motor and the torque rating well we're going to talk more about that in a moment but currently it's 65 newton meters which is a little bit low we'll talk more about that in just a moment we do have fenders that came with this bike although the front fender is kind of small when you consider the overall size of the tire it does come with this basket up here on the front and an led light that is mounted right down below I like that the wiring is mostly wrapped and we've got pretty good cable management here and it goes into the side of the frame right here and some of it goes on the outside of the frame as you can see as it makes its way back here to the controller. This is a folding trike and I found that it is pretty easy to fold although it doesn't really reduce the overall size. It does get a little bit shorter so it's not as long but it does get a little bit wider the way this front tire tucks in over here next to the rear tire. Now one of the things I really like about this trike is the frame was built for it being a trike. Unlike some that are out on the market where they take a bicycle frame and they simply stick a longer axle in the rear and add two tires. So this frame was designed to be a trike. So we do have the controller right back here underneath the seat instead of the battery and that's because the batteries are hidden back here underneath the basket. I'll show you those in a moment. We do have a quick release seat post right here. So it makes it easy to adjust the seat up and down. And let's take a look at the seat because this is an extra large seat saddle with a backrest and we found it to be quite comfortable and it's really nice having a backrest especially if you're a person with limitations or if you're an older person it helps build confidence because you've got that support right there on, the, on your back now one thing i will tell you about this seat and that is the connection back here uh, for the backrest is plastic okay and it's not real strong and this seat has fallen down a couple times just like that right there so we're going to have to do a little modification in order to get that to stop falling down because you just can't tighten it anymore here because everything back here is made of plastic now moving on toward the rear i will show you this right here that is an accessory that my wife already added that's the bottle holder she selected and you know that's because there's not a real good place on the front to place a bottle holder but we found it to be very convenient to attach it to the, the rear basket that way it is right beside her Moving on back here, you do see the rear tires, and like I said, these are 20 by 4 tires, and we have the same tread pattern as what's on front. You can get an eye right there, taking a look at the hydraulic disc brakes, and these are 160 millimeter rotors. The fenders on the back are a little bit bigger than what we found on the front, so it does provide pretty good coverage from any wet or mud surfaces that you may run through. I found that this rear basket is really nice and large, and we can put a lot of stuff in there. Now we did purchase the optional bag that goes inside the basket and it attaches on each corner right here with Velcro straps so it's easy to take it on and off. But it's got a nice zipper on the, on the back that allows you to have easy access and we really like that. If you choose not to get the bag, then this basket does have a wood surface underneath that is nice and solid so things won't fall through. You'll just have to be concerned about anything that might fall through the cracks on the sides. Now back here, we do have dual batteries and let me share this with you the, the batteries are a total of about 23 amps and there is a charging port right here on the end of both of them to make it easier to charge 
Now we haven't had the trike long enough. Uh, we've only had to charge it one time. And I will tell you that the one time that I charged it, I only plugged the charger in to this side. And when the charger told me the batteries were full, I switched the charger over to this side over here and it indicated it was full also, so I didn't need to charge this battery. I did reach out to support and ask them if the batteries drain at the same time, if they'll charge up at the same time, if they balance. And I really didn't get a good answer as to whether they did or they didn't. So I'm not sure, but as we continue to ride and as we continue to uh, test this, we'll find out if that is in fact what is happening. The batteries do have a little indicator. You can look down to here. They do have a little indicator that you can push and it'll tell you what the battery status is. It's hard to reach underneath there, there we go. And it all lights up, and the same for that side over there. Now we do have a rear LED tail light, and that is brake activated, so when you apply the brakes, the uh, tail light does come on. Underneath there, we do have a differential style axle that allows each wheel to move independently, so that when you're making a curve or, or going around in a circle, both wheels will spin freely to make the trike more stable. Now speaking of stability, this is one of the reasons why we purchased this particular trike. When we were looking online, we found that the seat right here on this trike can go lower than most other trikes. And that's one of the biggest reasons uh, we opted for this one here. And if I'm not mistaken, it was 28 inches that it'll drop to. And there's a lot of them out there that are you know 31 or 32 inches. So if you're a smaller person or a person with limitations, Having a seat that goes lower than most other butt trikes uh, is really beneficial because it makes it easier just to get on and get off. Now let's jump up here in the cockpit and let's uh, take a look at a couple things up here. So we do have, um, well first of all let's look at the handlebars. And this is one of the things that my wife really likes about this is that the handlebars are swept back so much. It makes it easier for her to reach so she's not reaching out so far in front of her. And uh, it just makes for a comfortable riding position. This stem is adjustable. You can unlock it here and allow you to adjust the angle of the handlebars. And you can also adjust whether or not the handlebars lean forward or uh, I believe right now they're, they're in, in, the, in the rear position as far as they will go, but you can push them forward if you like. Now let's go ahead and mention that we do have pretty standard uh, leather, faux leather wrapped uh, handle grips right here. Um, you know, they do have the palm rest built into them, which is kind of nice right there. We do have Zoom hydraulic uh, disc brakes, and so far I've found that they work very, very well. No concerns whatsoever. We have our button pad right here that allows us to cycle through up here in the top right corner. You can cycle through odometer trip right there between them. And then, of course, you have your up and down arrows to change your pass settings. And we'll talk more about pass settings in just a moment. Moving over to the right, we do have the standard Shimano 7-speed SIS shifter. That has proven to work just fine after we had it uh, or after we got it adjusted correctly and we do have a thumb throttle that is very responsive right up here we also have a brake that you can apply to apply this brake you have to squeeze the handle nice and tight and then use maybe the other hand or a pinky like this you can uh, not quite can't do it with one hand but with two hand operation you can easily apply the brakes and that prevents the, the trike from rolling when it's on a hill because it being a trike, there's no need for a kickstand, which is typically what kind of keeps a bike stable when you're on an incline. Now let's go back up here and take a look at this display again, because display is pretty nice. It's just uh, you know, a monochrome display, but it gives us all the information we hope to, to see right up there, nice and easy to find. We do have this uh, at five pedal assist, and it does show us the watt hours being used. And of course we have our speed indicator, which indicates miles per hour. Now something you need to know about this trike, when it comes out of the box, uh, when you assemble it, uh, you know, it's set for 14 miles per hour, so you have to go into the settings and you can unlock that so it goes 28 miles per hour, or excuse me, no, 20 miles per hour. Now there is one other thing to be aware of, the pedal assist settings, pedal assist one was set for like 12 miles per hour, which is pretty fast for someone who has taken a ride on a trike for the first time. And there was no instructions for it, so I reached out to support. They sent me the instructions on how to get into the display in order to go ahead and adjust that. So you are able to adjust each pedal assist level so you can set it to be just what you want it to be. And right now, I think we have pedal assist one down to like five miles per hour. Now, I told you I wanted to talk a little bit more about the motor and the torque rating. So when, 
we were getting ready to make our purchase, I reached out to support and asked them about the torque rating because that is important to me. That's what tells you uh, how much power a bike has in order to get up an incline or across the grass. And I didn't get a good answer. They didn't seem to really know what the torque rating was on, on their own product, and I was a little disappointed with that. But after we received the trike, and I discovered that the torque is actually seems to be pretty low because the, the trike does not have a lot of power. I reached out again and got in touch with someone else and they explained that it was designed that way because most of their customers are seniors so they got the bike powered low to make it safe for them. However, they do offer a free upgrade and that upgrade is if you ask them they will send you a brand new controller right there that you just have to unplug all the wires and install a new controller and with the new controller it bumps up the motor to 80 newton meters and hopefully that'll give us enough power in order to go up inclines and across fields and grass and areas like this. I can tell you right now, riding right here in this grass area, the bike wouldn't do it. And you know, the grass is a little tall, it's about four inches, but the bike just wouldn't go with my body weight of 245. It wouldn't make it through the grass. Riding this trike up my driveway into the garage is fine as long as you, you've got some momentum. But if I have to stop in the driveway, uh, and then try to get started again, you, the bike is not going to go on, on, on uh, throttle only. You do have to give it some pedal assist in order to get up the driveway. And guys, I measured my driveway, and it's only at 3%. So there's not much of an incline there, but the bike just, it didn't have the power. So I am looking forward to installing the new controller. I do have it now. I just haven't uh, installed it yet. And I will make another video uh, of that installation as well as showing you the improved performance and I'll make sure I'll put that link down in the description below so you can find that updated video. Okay guys, so here's the things that I wish the, were improved upon. One, the backrest for the seat. I wish that was a better quality. We're going to have to do a little modification there to make sure the backrest doesn't keep sliding down. Number two, I wish I didn't have to ask for an upgraded controller and then have to install it uh, in order to get to the additional power that this bike should be that should, this should have already. I mean, we are talking about a fat tire bike and it's rather heavy as it is. I mean, I, I believe it's at 120 pounds uh, with both batteries installed, but it should be able to take you across the grass easily and, and it doesn't. So I wish, uh, you know, I'm thankful that they give you that free upgrade. I just wish it was already installed on the bike because I tell you, I don't like working on this bike. If you haven't seen my installation video, make sure you go check it out because this trike is a little difficult to uh, put together. Uh, there's quite a few things you have to do. There's quite a few things you have to figure out. And if you're going to buy this, which despite any negatives I mentioned, it's a great trike, guys. It really is. If you should uh, go out and buy one, I would pay for the, uh, the expert assembly is what they call it on their website. And what that is, is they will have somebody in the warehouse assemble it, and then they'll put it on a pallet and they'll ship it to you on a pallet already ready to go versus you receiving it in three different boxes that you have to assemble. Because it did take me about six hours to put together and quite a bit of frustration along the way. Okay guys, I had to reposition to get out of the sun because I am just cooking in this Florida heat today. So we moved over here into the shade and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. But uh, so here's, here's the thoughts of my wife. So uh, we had this about a week before she even wanted to ride it the first time because her confidence wasn't there yet and she started to get a little anxious over the idea. But once we talked about it and she saw me riding it, she decided she'd give it a try. So we went out one evening and so she, uh, she exited the garage and when she got to the bottom of the driveway, she hit that little bit of a bump square on, she made a right turn and down the road she ran and she loved it and she's loved it ever since. So she has found the bike to be very stable. She's found it to be very easy to maneuver and uh, pretty comfortable to ride for someone who has a lot of pain and a lot of difficulties. So I can tell you from the standpoint of someone with uh, some limitations, she, she's really enjoying it. And I'll tell you this with my riding experience, because I've had this bike trike out several times now riding it, and I have found that it is in fact pretty stable. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted this one, because you can sit a little bit lower, and when you sit just a little bit lower, it lowers the center of gravity and helps a little bit from tipping over. Plus, because you do have these large four inch wide tires that grip very well, uh, that also adds to the stability just a little bit. So we, uh, we both just really like this trike. We're having a good time with it. 
Now there is one other issue that we are having and we're going to go ahead and jump on the road and show you some riding clips and then we're going to talk about that. So let's get going. All right guys, so let's uh, talk about a few more things here. So I already mentioned, uh, you know, the cockpit, but now you can see it from your point of view. Everything's easy to reach. And, you know, like I say, with these swept up hand swept back handlebars, it's just a comfortable ride. Uh, let me point out the, uh, the motor noise. So let me just explain that this camera is set up to uh, really be able to pick up my voice because the camera is mounted on my chest. And so it's turned up to uh, be able to, to capture my voice. So it also captures things like the motor and it magnifies it. So the motor is not as loud uh, as it seems on camera. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Especially when I hit the throttle and we get going, the motor really kind of whines. But again, it's just, uh, uh, and you can hear it, uh, you know, clearly uh, when you're riding, but not nearly as bad as what it sounds on camera. All right, so I'm just gonna throttle for right now, and uh, that way I'm not bouncing around, because here's the thing. This trike and pretty much any trike, when you're pedaling, you're shifting your weight back and forth, and that's when things can start getting a little squirrely, right? The bike can start rocking. Now, I can still pedal at a pretty high speed, because I've kind of gotten used to it, but just be aware that when you're pedaling and you're kind of shifting your weight right and left, right and left, that's when the bike starts rocking a little bit. So at higher speeds, I tend to just use the throttle only. Now, that's a great feature, or a feature that I really like about this trike, and that is you can go throttle only and get the top speed of 20 miles per hour, even though you're still sitting in pedal assist one. You don't have to uh, adjust the pedal assist settings at all. You can just use throttle only. And we'll test that out right here. There's 14, there's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there's 20. It's gonna hit 21. And we're going around a curve, so I'm gonna have to lean a little bit. So the top rated speed of this trike is 20 miles an hour, and you know, I got it to 21. Now I did have an issue that I've reached out to support and I haven't really came to, I haven't discovered a, a resolution yet. And I talked about this in one of my other videos, and that is, uh, there is a shake going on. Let's get around these workers here. There is a significant shake with the, the trike when you turn loose of the steering wheel. Now, you're not supposed to turn loose of the steering wheel, but let's say, for instance, you need to, and then everything starts shaking really bad. But when you hold on to the steering wheel, you don't feel it. You don't feel any, any you know, shaking going on or anything. It's a nice, stable ride, because it takes just very little pressure I can do it with one finger and pretty much keep it stable. Uh, you know, it just takes very little pressure in order to keep things straight and smooth. And I can certainly ride with one hand without any big issue there, but turn loose and there's a significant shake. So I reached out to support and asked them, and basically I was told, go ahead and tighten everything up. So I did, you know, I started with the stem down here and I broke it, I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, but I went ahead and tightened up the handlebars here. I made sure that the wheel was seated on the forks properly. I made I let the air out of the tire and re-aired up the tire just to make sure the tire was uh, inflated properly. And and I think what the uh, the end result is that the the wheel is out of true, and it needs to be trued up. And you do that by adjusting the spokes to straighten out the wheel because I think it's got the, the wheel has got a little a little bit of a, a curve in it, and it's causing this wobble. Now let's talk about the part that I broke. I went ahead and I was tightening up the bolt stem, the, the, the head bolt that goes down into uh, right down here. And it wasn't tight, it was just kind of snug. So I thought, okay, there's my problem. So I started to tighten it more and more, but it really wasn't tightening up. It was feeling about the same. And what happened is, down inside the tube here, you have what's called a star nut. And it's just kind of wedged in inside the tube. And then the bolt that holds the handlebars on, the bolt runs into that star nut. Well, that star nut slowly worked its way up to the top of the tube and popped out. And so I end up having to buy a new star nut off of Amazon, a little tool to insert it. it cost $15, but I got everything put back together relatively easy. But we still have this shake. So disappointed, uh, reached out on social media, talked to different people, and uh, different people with different trike owners, they don't indicate that there's a shake at all. And yeah, I showed this on another video too. But if you look, but if you look closely at the wheel, and I'll try to hold it as straight as I can, you'll see the wheel wobbling just a little bit. So that tells me that 
it's probably easily fixed. I'm just gonna have to take it to a bike shop, have them put on a truing stand so they can get the wheel balanced and tightened up the way it should be. And I think we're gonna be good to go. When I'm able to do that, I will make sure I put a note down in the description down below and let you know if that worked or not. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's gonna be my solution for that, I believe. The brakes on this trike do work quite well. No problem at all with the braking. Um, I did notice that uh, one brake seems to lock up before the other one, so that needs a small adjustment there. The derailleur uh, for the shifting, it does shift pretty smooth now when you go through the gears to shift. But when I first got it out of the box and put it together, uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, because the derailleur had never been installed before so it took some uh, some adjusting and some figuring out in order to get that adjusted properly But now it is so it shifts fine. Don't have any trouble with that I'll tell you guys um, despite a couple of the negatives that I've talked about It is such a fun trike to ride and my wife has been using it right here in the neighborhood but I've taken it out further outside the neighborhood and gone further with it and it works great on on hard surfaces it just it's got you know nice pickup nice and steady nothing overpowering there in it. Um, you know so it's nice and stable on the acceleration it rides smooth I'm really looking forward to changing out that controller so that we get more power because right now it like I said you know like I demonstrated it does not like to go through the grass at all it's just not liking it too much at all and certainly uh, it is not ready for the sand. This this thing would never make it through the sand. I'll tell you that right now. Um, on any any rough surfaces, um, you know, I, I question that because it really needs to be a smooth surface. And we bought this trike being a fat tire, um, you know, hoping to be able to go over some rough terrain. And you know, I'm hoping that once we uh, um, get the new controller on there and get the the torque rating boosted up to 80 newton meters. I think it'll be able to, to haul the, the heavy bike frame as well as the heavy riders and it'll do well for us. So since the release of the first couple of riding videos, I've had a lot of people contact me and a lot of comments made about the price of this trike and saying, well, you know, this is, this is double the price of another very popular budget trike. So let's talk about that for a moment. We are going to do a comparison of the two, not in this video, but uh, there are two different price levels for trikes. and. And there is one that is about half price, and it seems to be pretty good if that is what you're looking for and that has the features that you want. But the Bison Pro has suspension front forks, okay? Uh, this budget trike does not. It has hydraulic brakes, and I don't think the budget trike does. This has a 750-watt motor. The other one, I think, is only a 500-watt motor. And so there's just a number of things. The other one only has like a 14-amp-hour battery. This one has two dual batteries with a combined uh, 23 amp hours. So, you know, just a number of upgrades for, uh, uh, for this trike. And those are some of the reasons as to why we went ahead and purchased this one, aside from the fact that it's got a slightly lower center of gravity. And I'll go ahead and I'll tell you right here, uh, because I have received so much, uh, you know, so many questions and so many comments about this budget trike. I will tell you that I reached out to the company to ask them if uh, it's something that they would consider sending, and they wouldn't. That's not something they were interested in. So I purchased it. I did. I went ahead and purchased this other trike, and primary reason, I wanted my wife to have uh, something to compare with. I wanted her to see this one, see a budget trike, ride them both, and then make the decision as to which one she likes the best. And it's going to give me an opportunity to make a couple of additional videos to compare the two. So we will be comparing this with a budget trike here real soon. So be watching out for those videos. Hey guys, that's going to be it for this video. So I hope I was able to answer most of your questions at least. If you have any, please drop them down below. I'm happy to answer your questions. I'm happy to maybe try to do some additional testing. If there's anything you want to see, uh, let me know. Um, because my final thoughts are I really like it. My wife really likes this trike. And yeah, we're having a good time riding it. Uh, you know, I've let a couple of my neighbors are, ride it already, and they're really enjoying it. I just hope that we'll be able to get rid of the uh, the shaking in the front to make it just a little bit more stable. And that's really my only issue. Uh, everything else about the trike, I, we just really like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. 
And should you decide to purchase one, you will see what I'm talking about. It's going to be a lot of fun. You'll enjoy it too. If you decide to do that, make sure you use my affiliate link down below. It does help this channel to grow. Uh, it's a free, easy way for you to support the channel, and that's appreciated. If I, you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't checked out my other videos where I was out riding and doing some demonstrating on it and or the assembly video, I'm going to leave those right here for you.